Hey y'all, I'm Keely. So, I moved to Austria two months ago, and I am an au pair. What that means is that I take care of this little girl. I'm starting to do this because before I left, everybody wanted me to keep in touch and um, keep them updated, and I figured this was probably the easiest way, and I'm slightly lazy and didn't feel like writing um, a really detailed journal. So, here we go. A little late, but better late than never, right? That's my motto. My second motto is try not to make an ass of yourself, which almost happens every day here. Um, it's, it's slightly different. I mean, not completely, totally, I have no idea, but I think the, the language barrier is is hard sometimes. Uh, on that note, it's helped me learn German a bit more because I'm forced to. Uh, one thing I wasn't expecting though is there's a different style of eating. So in the US we have the American style of eating, um, but here it is the continental style. So when you eat, you eat with your fork and knife in your hand. Just, let's say, uh, supper. If you have your meat and your vegetables and just kind of a, I guess, a standard dinner, um, you're gonna have uh, both a fork and the knife in your hand. Now what's interesting is that they put their fork in their left hand, which is good for me because I'm left-handed. Um, so it looks like I'm doing something right. Uh, However, when I was growing up, I was always told if you weren't using your knife, you would just rest your hand in your lap. And here, um, not so much. It, both hands are always on the table. Not the elbows, uh, but definitely the hands. Now, uh, when you're toasting uh, in the States, it, it's not really important and no one really thinks about it at least where I'm from. Um, so when you clink your glasses, you look at each other. Here, it's very important that you do that. I mean, you lock eyes. And if you don't, I assume it's some form of an insult. Uh, I mean, not a serious one, but it's just a faux pas, if you will. So remember that when you come. And I know this is true for uh, the Czech Republic. That's where I learned that serious lesson. So I would just, whenever you're in Europe, just lock eyes when you're uh, toasting. Austria has also made me realize how casual I am. Um, so I'm living with the family that I au pair for. And, you know, if it's a Saturday or Sunday and I'm not doing anything, you better believe those yoga pants are going on and a t-shirt. I mean, why waste a good pair of clothes? Why get them dirty when you're not doing anything? Um, they're, I mean, they're always dressed. Uh, so I kind of feel bad. But I really uh, believe, especially in Sweatpants Sunday, I am well, sweatpants in the winter, yoga pants uh, when it gets warmer outside. I am a firm believer uh, in this and I follow it religiously. I think it's very important. But I, getting used to the women here, for the most part, I think, always look so put together and Typically fall and spring, I have what I call my uniform. Um, dark jeans and a button down, three quarter length sleeve and um, boots. I mean, uh, usually like the ankle boots, but, and my leather jacket. Um, but I always feel like I'm just missing something. Everybody just looks so collected. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just a dork, which 
there's not a maybe I am, but um, everybody always just looks so ready to go and I feel like I look like a hot mess most of the time, which is possibly true. So I need to get cooler. Yeah. Everybody always looks so good. On that note, Austrians are some of the best looking people I've ever seen. I feel like I ride the bus and see a half dozen supermodels um, in five minutes. It's ridiculous how good looking these people are. Now, yesterday I was working out and I got up kind of late and um, I think I probably worked out for an hour and a half and two two hours and I was in the basement and um, my host mother I guess called out to me but I had my my music in so I didn't hear. Well apparently they went to uh, this festival. Um, I think it was Saint Florian who's the patron saint of firefighters here. Anyways they bring me back this heart and it's a necklace. Sometimes people eat it um, sometimes they don't. It says mousy. Now, um, this is pretty typical for, well, the, the gingerbread heart is pretty typical for any, um, festival you go to here or, um, yeah. So you'll always, almost always have a stand for, for this. This is for pretty much anything. The other day, they found uh, a mouse in, like, it's a little more than a garden shed, but it's not part of the house. Um, but they found one in the trap there. And their outside cat is known to catch mice. Well, one thing about me is I am deathly afraid of mice. Um, I, mice and rats, I can't even watch Ratatouille. It's bad. But um, they catch this mouse, and I was in my room. I, I was uh, I was skyping with my aunt, and uh, I hear this knock at the door, and she goes, "Keely, come outside. I want to show you something." And I've emailed you a picture, thinking it was the little girl I uh, am all pairing for. You know, I get up and and hold my phone with me so my aunt can see. Um. It wasn't. Uh, so I walk out of my room and a picture of a mouse in a trap meets me. And I, I think I jumped 20 feet in the air, scared the crap out of me. And um, she goes, oh, what's so cute? I'm like, no, no, it's not. Um, kind of reminds me of a black plague. No, you'd think people would remember. They caught the mouse on Saturday, and since then there have been two more that have been caught. And so I don't plan on going in that shed uh, ever. Now the problem is, is that behind that shed is the recycling bins and, and trash bins and compost pile. And I know there are mice out there, and I, I would, I might just have to let it sit. I'm, I have someone else. To, I cannot deal with them. I can, I can usually deal with anything else. Also, um, I'm from the south, and if you're from there, you know that we have palmetto bugs. And palmetto bugs, for all intents and purposes, are roaches. However, they're about yay big, and they enjoy taking flight. Um, and they typically live in the live oaks. And so I've been dealing with those all my life. And though I don't like them, I have, I guess, living there all of your life, you come up with your best method of killing them. Um, Minus to spray them with some kind of aerosol spray. Uh, if I don't have the bug killing spray, extra whole hairspray works great. You might have to use a little more, but it kind of freezes them and drowns them at the same time. Um, but here, 
uh, I like to have my window open because at home you run the risk of the the bugs getting in and you definitely don't want that um, so I like to enjoy the fresh air without mosquitoes and, and all of this however a side effect of that is uh, spiders coming in and I don't I don't really think Austria has any poisonous spiders uh, but the ones that I have dealt with while I'm here I promise you are about that big and it usually happens right before I'm about to go to bed so uh, oof. I I have learned how to kill them with uh, throwing a shoe. Once I did it in one hit with a heel, uh, but the first time I had to do it, I threw um, Stephen King's It at it. Um, and I think Game of Thrones uh, to make sure. And then I put a uh, suitcase on there to make sure it was dead. And left it there for a couple of days to make sure it didn't move. It was in a corner, so I assume, but I didn't want to want to check and have it move because I feel like I have a bad heart. So, uh, I mean, I, I almost make it sound like it's, uh, you know, out in the wild, but um, it's a beautiful country. Uh, if you've seen The Sound of Music, my favorite movie ever, basically living it. Uh, sometimes it, it does look like that. I'm on the other side of the country, but uh, sometimes you just walk around and you're like, wow, this looks like a postcard, it's amazing. Last week I was in Salzburg where The Sound of Music was filmed and it continues to be my favorite place in the world. Um, it, it sounds cheesy, but it's just inspiring. And if you have a chance, I would definitely go. Well, guys, um, that's all for today. So I will, well, I guess you'll see me later because I can't see you unless you have my number or Facebook. Um, Cheers, which means bye.